Looney Farm Guy here. This is the Lizard L1620 by Cola on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5. Here on the uh, Rock Crawl map for this test and demonstration of this pack of uh, trucks and um, additional backs. So these are all... Yeah, so unfortunately, there are a lot of issues, a lot of things wrong with this. However... There are a lot of kind of neat and cool things as well. So we're going to go through them, show you the um, the problems I have encountered, such as this. Um, yeah. And a few other things. So let's start with the truck, shall we? Um, oh, uh, 23.15 megabytes to download. Uh, 10 slots for the truck. Uh, looks like four slots each for the additional items we have. Um, so we have trucks. I'm just looking through my owned items. Yeah, four slots. Uh, looks like two slots and two slots. So first, the truck. Truck is under trucks. There it is. A one truck. $115,000 to purchase, 177 to 231 horsepower. So remember, this is somewhat of a classic Brazilian model. Um, they're known for low horsepower, so expect the low horsepower. Manual transmission. We'll talk about the issues with the transmission. 400 liter fuel capacity, 74 miles per hour. Good luck with that. Right. So engines. And we have several engines. 177 horsepower, 211 horsepower. We have 211 horsepower classic. I have no idea what the difference is. Oh, it puts a little classic decal on the door. All right. 218 horsepower electronic, not electric, electronic. And the 213. 51 horsepower electronic not electric and then back down so $3,200 for the most powerful engine which is not all that powerful wheel brands well we have the four by two so four two axles four wheels two wheel drive then we have uh, oh go back up here there we go six by two so six wheels three axles two wheel drive the front two uh the front or the sec the second set um ac well the, you see the axles there six by four which means the back four wheels are drive wheels three axles six wheels then we have a short version of the six by two six by four and then we're back to the four by two so even though I can inch it, oh yeah, look at that. I'm gonna inch it all the way. Oh. <laughs> I guess that's as far as, oh, I can keep it going, keep it going. Okay, I'm being silly now. Um, right, now I can't even see. <laughs> right, so we have a couple of versions of those. We have uh, options for iron rims and aluminum rims. Let's go with iron. Iron sharpens iron. Design standard default. Those are various options with the tank, square tank, um, or which side the, the fuel tank is on and so forth. Let's go with that. Rear height. So you can adjust the actual um, default height of where the suspension goes, which is kind of cool. Now we have a several exhaust, all of them underneath the vehicle, so no upper exhaust. Marker and sunshield. We have markers and then a shield, markers and shield. Panel color, that's interior. So we have a blue or a white. Hubcaps, we can put the uh, weird spinny type design hubcaps on there if you want we have a plastic tank 
or a round tank let's see does that change how much fuel no or a square tank so that's just um a visual representation decorative sash that's a decal on the side as you can see there pneumatic um yes or no which means yes means you can raise and lower one of the axles px antenna so this is where you really see the uh brazilian uh, style antennas main color we have a number of custom colors along the top blue another blue a gray or silver and a and a darker gray some more reds etc no charge for those if you go with the giants palette a thousand dollars design color is going to be what was the design color oh yes the grill <clears throat> and then uh hub color hub colors i found yes it's the hub the hubcaps are actually covering it let's see yeah and then a rim color rim colors are interesting for the reason of that uh, even the oh no is it no okay five dollars only though <clears throat> so that's really cool uh except chrome is free Woo! and then license plate all right uh let's start with the uh the smallest of the trucks all right let me um let's get our help window on and then go down here because i usually run automatic um gear shift mode is i usually run automatic and that usually works for all the trucks except this one. Oh, oh oh there it's shifted now oh my goodness now it's working okay so that makes it a little easier for me to demonstrate this particular one is okay now this one is not so tipsy interesting there's something going on with this and it's very inconsistent um because this was so tippy before that it would literally, literally want to tip over even if I just a little bit. So let's put a little bit of liquid fertilizer in here. Now it's stuck in first gear. <clears throat> There's definitely something wrong with this. So, yeah, okay, the, this is, okay. This is a tank that you attach. There's a bunch of attachments. Does this, yeah, see, now the, now the transmission is not working. So, maybe if I get out and get in. No, now, now it's not working again. <sighs> All right, <clears throat> attachments. Let's talk attachments, and then we'll um, we'll fool around with these a little bit more. <clears throat> if you switch it to manual, we'll talk about that. You can get it to work. Attachments. Let's just go over here to mods and DLCs because they're kind of spread out everywhere. And this is showing you all that's included with this mod. We have a tank, a bulk carrier, a larger tank, and a uh, animal transport. So the tank, 4x2 tank, is what I have uh, on this one right now. And we have a light color selection, orange, white, orange, red, green, white, yeah. And then we have a rear height option. Remember we had a height choice for the back of the truck. You can adjust the $4,800 for a mud flap. Wow, I didn't notice that before. 
Um, if you go with no, it doesn't matter. It's just the, the length of the um, rear flap, I think. I don't think it actually does anything else. But anyways, main color, we get to choose whatever color you want here. $1,000 if you go with Giants. $0 if you go with Custom Colors. Design color is the Fender. Right there. 100 bucks if you choose a Giants palette. Right. So... Uh, for the, um, let's, let's take a look at that again. Four by two. If you go with the four by two tank, you have to choose the four by two. I'm not sure if the six by two is going to, would work with that. Let's see. And will the transmission work? No. Okay, I'm tired of this. Let's go down here. Gear shift mode manual. And um, then, yeah, I'm on PS5. I'm on console. I hate manual transmission on console because it's just not fun or easy to use at all. There's not enough buttons on a controller to really... operate it properly if you know what i mean if you've ever tried all right well let's drop that off and move forward and see if see if this version will hook up to that And, um, and it does. Um, it does look a little bit... Okay, forward. It does look a little weird because it doesn't line up. But, um... Oh, let's, let's see if we can get up to speed a little bit with... Oh, sorry. You can't scroll in and out when you're accelerating. That's the... That's the really annoying thing with running a manual transmission with a controller uh, or, or on console, really. Because if I try to scroll back, um, it will downshift. <laughs> I have to let off the accelerator to go up and down. It's it's the D-pad is the same, yeah. It's just not, it just doesn't work. Yeah, oh, okay. So, it's, oh, it seems pretty stable now. Very weird. Uh, very underpowered, just so you know, you're not going to be pulling any any great weight with this. Okay, so, that's the tank. I'm spending a lot of time complaining, I know. I apologize for anyone who's waiting to see the other items. So let's get right into the other items right now. The other attachments and the other truck. So that's the uh, the short truck. Um, let's go with the the, uh, the large tank. Uh, if you want to know where they are in here, we have the two tanks under animals. So the small tank is 10,000 liters. The large tank is 15,000 liters. Milk, water, um, uh, fertilizer, liquid fertilizer and herbicide. Again, it has the same options as the other tank. Uh, the truck you want to use with this is going to be the longer frame, so the four or the six by two or the six by four. The longer frame. So you have short frame and you have the longer frame, right? So the 4x2, 6x2, 4x2 short, 6x2 long, 6x4, then we have the 6x2 short, yeah. Uh, it seems as long as the frame is shorter, it will fit on there not too badly. All right. Again, if you want to see the tank comes like this, 
and you just drive under it and you attach it all like that we have fertilizer in this one now this one yeah we'll we'll show you we'll show emptying it there we go and we'll go for a little ride this one um oddly enough um reacts um somewhat differently than let's go on this side here and we will take one of them for a torture test although it's i think it's torturing me more than i'm torturing it so if we can maintain enough speed here it seems uh it's it's this thing i can't even i can't even turn it a little bit it loses so much speed as soon as you try and turn a little bit i can't even yeah but i did experience it uh, to roll over really easy on one of these models shift let's see if i can turn around uh, i'm gonna just lose all my speed all right so you're probably not gonna get enough speed up to even but i don't i don't know um, okay, well, we'll meet you back at the um, yard. All right, well, the next one we're going to look at is the animal one because it's pretty simple, and then we'll move on to the final one. It has a lot of different options on that one. So, let's move this out here. So, the animal transport. Farm Dog Max says, I want to herd those cows. Animal transport is here. 19,000 cattle, 6x2. $19,000. It will hold 9 cows, 12 sheep, or 9 horses. Um, apparently, no pigs. We have a, um, a side design. Um, main color is whatever these you wish. And you can choose the color of the stripe as well. <clears throat> All right, so here we are over at a uh, cow pen, and it really acts, uh, it really works pretty, pretty simply there. We want to move them over, yes, and okay. And there they are. We have transferred the animals into their pen. So it works, it works as it should. There's nothing. Uh, there's actually nothing really wrong with any of the attachments. As a matter of fact, it's the uh, it's the truck itself that's um, causing me some issues. Now, all right. Finally, the um, the, the 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 trailer bit. I guess you could call it the tipper found under trailers and where is it where is it where is it there it is so sixteen thousand dollars bulk carrier six by two it will hold all those items bulk items there twenty three thousand liter capacity we have a uh, bale trailer option or a twenty three thousand liter capacity option so we have uh again we have uh the adjustment for rear height if you want if you have the taller back end right right uh, main color again all the choices design color is your fin oh that's not there's no fenders on this one it's the stripe uh, let's make that green so you can see it and then uh, you can choose a cover color there you go very shiny uh, pink yes um, so uh, prices as you can see there no wrong truck oh my goodness all right so we pop it off that's pretty much we can put the lid back on it there we go that's how it uh, uh, come on Let's back up. There we go. 
All right. So, um, oh, actually, you know what? I did miss a couple of... So let's go through the options of the truck. I'm, I've just kind of got me all kerfuffled with this one. <clears throat> right. Control group air suspension one. That means lift axis. So we have the raised back end, L1 and X. We can lift that rear axle. Actually... Actually, it's the center axle that's going. So we're, it's actually, yeah. One or the other, there, one of them is moving up and down. I think it's the rear one. Let's do that again. Yeah, it looks like that rear axle is the one that's lifting and lowering. Right. Uh, we also have a front suspension um, adjustment, L1 and right stick up and down. So down is up, up is down, at least it is for me. So you have that right. Horn, a proper horn. Right, so now we can go into L1 and R1. Oh no, we don't have to do anything. Press your triangle. There we go, select tool. Group windows and mirrors, all right. L1, right stick left and right, you can adjust your left mirror. If we look over to our right side of the pillar, there is obstructing our right mirror. However, we can adjust it like so. And if we take a look at our door window, L1 and R1 and right stick up and down, we can roll our window up and down you can barely see it I don't even know but you can see the handle turning right so we have those um, and then press triangle again and you have your suspension adjustment all right so now that I've now that I've remembered to um, get those out of the way we now have our Control group, big bag transport. That is the, the item that we attached. See, now it's highlighted. So L1 and left on your D-pad opens and closes that cover. We also have L1 and X, open sidewalls. So oddly enough, it still has those braces on there so L1 and X close the covers again it has a lots of little yeah little odd L1 and right stick left and right you can get rid of those we can uh, totally get rid of the the cover is what I'm trying to say and then when you do L1 and X you basically turn it into the bale trailer you see that so you can have both in the same one and we have the the fastened belts you don't see them there you can see them up here underneath so if you have something on there you can strap things down so let's uh, close the covers back or close the sidewalls back up R1, L1, and R1. Okay. So far, we're good. Okay, so now... Uh, now, we want to go there. Oh, maybe not. Yes. No? Yes. One more tap of the left of the triangle. So that was the big bag transport. Now we have remove back door option. L1 and right stick there. So you can take that back door away. You can still close and open the cover. You can still open the side walls. And things like that. So there's a few different things you can do. Now, um, let's see here. Can we fill it with that back door open? Yes, oddly enough, we can fill it. Let's fill it with um, rocks, shall we? 
Now, to be uh, to be fair, um, it seems to handle the rocks quite well. Um, oh, sorry. Again, the transmission does not let me scroll the, the camera back and forth while I am moving. It is highly annoying. All right, so getting to the end of the uh, review here, we're going to unload. So this is the unloading. Now, if we stop or stop that, stop it, stop it. L1 and right stick. There we go. Now we unload. It shows the little animation of that back door opening up a little bit. There we go. Unload speed is pretty good. Not bad at all. Pretty standard stuff. Right, you can see that. Now what I'm going to do is what everybody, well, at least I, what I know one person is waiting for. And that's the torture test. We're going to fill this with rocks. Now, I'm, if I recall, I'm pretty sure, let's, um, it's odd, odd that it would, uh, it would easily go, go forward in second gear. So we're going to go in here and we're going to give it the best chance I know. And we're going to make sure it has the 231 horsepower engine. Electronic, not electric. <laughs> so, and um, also difficult to shift and to turn at the same time because it's using my same, my thumb to turn my left joystick and shift up with the left d-pad I I, <clears throat> I do like the sound when it shifts it's not like instantaneous <clears throat> so the sounds are cool it just kind of oh see this one look at the oh yeah, yeah yeah so you see what I mean by tippy now for some reason oh maybe it's the uh, See this that was what's happening with the two-wheel drive one, but let's uh oh no, let's go with um we want the suspension up here and let's lift the oh well that's totally lifting that back. Is it gonna be uh as tippy? Oh, it's even more tippy. Yeah. So you see what I mean by being tippy, right? But it's inconsistent. It's like this one's like super tippy. And then the tank was super tippy and then not super tippy. And it's very weird. Uh, I'm Again, I'm trying to scroll back and I'm shifting gears. Right, okay. <clears throat> so here we are. We're going to give it, oh, uh, hopefully I don't tip over here. Careful, careful, careful. We're going to give it a running start, actually, as best I can. And get a, give it a running start at the, uh, I wonder what, uh, does the gear shift knob um, shift when I, oh, it's, I'm the view is blocking. Oh, man, that sucks. Um, downshift, yes, the gear shift lever moves. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. <clears throat> um, oh. We're going to make it up this hill. Not too bad, actually. I am, I'm surprised, actually. Downshift. Oh, we're losing... We're losing speed fast at the top. Actually, we're maintaining now, maintaining. That's actually um, impressive, actually. Um, so, wow, okay. We are going to try to break as best I can with, uh, we're gonna see if we can hit, let's see if we can hit some decent speed here. 
I think six gear is the max. Yeah, six gear is top gear. There we go. We got 74 miles per hour, 75, and we're hitting the brakes now. Wow, okay. Well, that's impressive. All right. Um, so there you go. Um, so aside from a number of issues, which we... Um, <clears throat> I was able to show... It does have some um, redeeming qualities, shall I say. Um, it really climbed that hill. Great. At least in uh, in manual transmission, I wished the automatic worked. Uh, it handles weight well, although it can be sometimes very tippy. Uh, brakes are very good. Uh, lots of options, if you like options. Um, lots of color options. So... It's not a total bust. Uh, it just needs a few uh, fixes. So, <clears throat> um, 5 out of 10, I guess, at this point, which isn't uh, absolutely terrible, but it's not great. So, Lizard L1620 by Cola on Farming Simulator 22. Um, does he have any other... Yeah, so this is his first... No, his second truck. He's got a Lizard NPN Series Brazil also on Mod Hub. Don't remember that one. Um, yeah. So, anyways, um, there you go. Um, if you don't like the vehicle, um, just be sure, to, or if you like it, if you like it or don't like it, <clears throat> Go to your in-game mod hub and rate it one to five. Um, yeah, uh, disliking the video isn't actually going to do anything. Um, yeah, I just just thought I'd mention that. Um, <laughs> but anyways, thank you all for watching. And remember, it's only a game. So till the next one, bye for now.